Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Hello, viewers. Welcome to today's morning devotion, the 30th day of March in the year of our Lord 2021. Let us pray. Our dear Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for all you have done in our lives, even last night. And you have helped us by your grace and divine help to wake up this morning. Lord, we pray that as we deliberate and as we devote our life to your word, may we, O oh God, be touched through your word to always pray and to always watch for dangers ahead, even our life as we prepare for the coming of the Lord. Have your way, Lord, through your word this morning. This we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our test is taken from the, the book Matthew chapter 26. Matthew chapter 26. I read from verse 31. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Then come Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. This morning we'll be considering the topic that says watch and prayer. Watch and prayer. To watch simply means to have the alertness of a guard at night. When somebody has the alertness of a guard at night, meaning to be awake and on guard. When somebody is awake, when somebody is in charge, when somebody is alert, when somebody is on guard. And then to pray. Or prayer is a solemn request for help or simply an expression of thanks addressed to God. When somebody expressed a thanksgiving to God, or when there is a solemn request for help, or a spiritual communion with God, when you have a spiritual communion with God, for example, as in supplication, as in thanksgiving, as in adoration, even as in confession, and as in intercession. That is for prayer. A devout petition to your maker, to God. Of course, we talk about God. There are other ones people can pray to. But we pray to our God as Christians. 
So, to watch and pray. From where we read, where we took our test this morning, Jesus said unto them, All of you, all ye, all means everyone, all ye shall be offended because of me this night. Not maybe in three years to come, this night. All of you shall be offended. And he went for that to say, It was written of me. Of course, if you read Zechariah chapter, chapter 13, verse 7, you will see where it's written Smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. It was written of me, but he said, But I, by the time I must have risen, I will go before you unto Galilee. What does this suggest? Jesus was not seeing the disciples being offended. He was seeing himself not only dying, but rising again and even to go ahead of them in Galilee. That would have been an encouraging word. But look at the reaction of Peter. And the rest of the apostles. Peter answered and said unto him. Though all men. Shall be offended. Because of thee. Though all men. May be offended because of thee. But me. But Peter. He was pointing at himself. To Jesus I believe. But for me. I will not be offended. I. I. Peter will not be offended. What does this suggest? Peter was boasting. He was having overconfidence. Peter thought that, oh, <laughs> this, is the, this is me that had communion with Olga. I left everything I had. I left all and I've been following him. And uh, all these three years I've been following him. So, how can Jesus, how will he now be saying that this night I will be offended? No, others may be, but not me. That was Peter's submission. Excuse me. When you begin to argue with the things of the Spirit, let it be known to you that you are far away from the place of your watch and praying. It was a matter and Jesus replied, said to Peter, well, I need to re maybe reveal one to you. Jesus, in response to him, said to Peter, before the cock, before the cock crow, this night, you must have denied me. You must have denied me three times <laughs> before the cock crows. You, Peter, that is boasting before me, must have denied me. I thought that that matter would have been enough for Peter to go to his knees in prayers, talking to God, weeping, crying to God, yearning, panting for heaven's help. Communion, having communion, communion with God, having fellowship, and having a kind of relationship with God, having a kind of praying, talking to God in prayers. But Peter boasted again. <laughs> Do you know another one he said? Peter said, well, <laughs> I know I will die with you. Meaning that he had what he said correctly from the beginning. That after I must have risen, I will go ahead of you to, in Gal to Galilee. Peter said, I know that I will <laughs> die with you. But for me, Peter, I will follow you to the end. I will not be offended. For me, Peter, oh, <laughs> I will not be offended. I will follow you to the end. Now, this is a sign of a man who has left the place of prayer who is no more 
at the altar of prayer. Jesus called for prayers. And when we pray, we pray that we do not enter into temptation. It is a time for people of God to rise up to pray and watch over our nation, over issues that are going on. Peter's submission suggests to me that he was overconfident. In fact, he boasted. He boasted. He boasted that I, Peter, <laughs> will not be offended. Oh, listen to me. The Bible says that Peter said, well, others may be. Maybe I agree with you, but for me, I will not be offended. Now, the master is telling you what will happen to you. Backing it up with the scriptures, quoting the scriptures. And you are still arguing with the master. Oh, I suppose. Maybe they felt, in response, they felt, I suppose, though the shepherd will scatter, but I should not. Though others may be scattered, but I, Peter, the rest of the apostles, will not scatter. That is over confidence. But if a man, when the church fails to watch, when the church fails to pray, when the church fails to go to their knees in prayers, attack, I tell you, is inevitable. When the church fails to pray, attack is inevitable. He boasted, oh, I will not. Look at what the scripture says. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men, verse 33, all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. And Jesus said to him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, you shall deny me three times. Look at what Peter said. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, yet will I not deny thee. Likewise, said also all the, all the disciples. Look at verse 36. Then come Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here <coughs> while I go. Sorry. Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. If you read from other, uh, other uh, uh, account of apostles or gospels, Bible says that when Jesus came, returned to them, he saw them sleeping. A man who does not watch will end up sleeping. They slept all through at the place of prayer. The place of prayer, they, re they, they, they replaced the place of prayer with sleeping. A place to sleep. A place of comfort zone. A place of, of, of enjoyment. A place of merrymaking. A place of enjoying your body. But they fail to understand that a man who has failed to watch and pray has failed to stand when the matter becomes tough. That was the matter. They slept all through. All through until those that came to take Jesus arrived. That was when their eyes got open. It's time for us to wake from our slumber. And I pray that whoever that have been sleeping over upon the altar of prayer will wake up even this morning. Will wake up and begin to pray. And begin to agonize in praying. And begin to intercede in praying. And begin to pray over this nation. Look at a nation. Look at our world. Look at Africa. Look at the whole world. Wherever you, 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 are, you are hearing us. Do you see the need for us to pray? Do you see the need for us to, 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 to bend our knees on ground to pray? It's time for the church to rise to pray. The enemy has taken over the land enough. It's time for us to rise. We have slept enough. I think it's a time for us to wake up and pray. It's a time for us to wake up and begin to pray. It's a time for us to say, Lord, I come to you. I've come, Lord, that you revive my altar of prayer. 
Peter's response, I suppose, would have been, Lord, teach me to pray. Teach me to watch and pray. I need to watch. I don't want to fail you. I don't want to offend you. Lord, teach me to watch. Teach me to pray. But he boasted. A man proud. Proud. A man of proud. The Bible says that pride goes before a fall. A man full of pride cannot receive from God. He cannot receive from God. No wonder he denied Jesus. You can see a whole Peter. The man that was boasting. <laughs> People ask him, do you know about this man? He said, Oga, I don't know what you are talking about. That is a man who left the, the, the place of prayer. A man who has left his altar of prayer. A man who has gone away from the presence of God. They ask him again. <laughs> he said, I don't know what you are talking about. What Jesus said was confirmed in the life of Peter. No wonder he boasted. No wonder he boasted. As are you such a type that feel that you are all in all? You are infallible. <laughs> you have come to the point that you cannot fall again. Bible is calling us to watching and praying this morning, this day. Have you left your place? Is your altar? full of ashes. Heaven is calling you to pray. We need to rise up and pray. The church needs to rise up and pray. During the time of Peter, in the Acts of the Apostles chapter 12, the Bible says that after the clean of James and Peter was arrested, the church rose to pray. And when the church rose in praying, heaven came down and saved Peter. Who knows? So many lives that will be saved when you begin to pray. Your family, the nation, even the state you come from, even Africa, even the whole world. Who knows who and who that will be saved because you watch, because you pray. This morning, this day, heaven is calling us to pray. Now, when we fail to pray, we will fail to establish the will of God. When we fail to pray, we fail to wage war against the enemy. But the word of God is saying, as Jesus said, watch and pray lest you fall. Heaven is calling us to pray in this morning. No wonder, even though the church is losing its ground, but heaven is calling us to rise up to prayer. The enemy is ravaging the world. The enemy is, is nobody knows <laughs> whether he will be the next one. It, it, it takes a man of prayer to turn the hand of the devil in favor of this nation. To put the enemy to shame. Prayer is this, that strongest weapon that we need to fight with. Not gun, not AK-47. It is prayer. When we pray, heaven releases that weapon that accompanies prayer to do and establish his kingdom here on earth. God is calling us to pray. Let us not boast the way Peter boasted. Let us not be overconfident in what we do. No matter your position, no matter your level in Christianity, no one is infallible. And that is why we need to stand our ground to pray. Heaven is calling us to pray in this morning. Have you left your place of prayer? I pray this morning that heaven will wake you from your slumber. You begin to pray. You begin to see the need to pray in the spirit. Heaven will intervene on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father and our Lord, as we pray this morning, Lord, may you release the dew of heaven. As Peter boasted, that he would not deny Jesus and fails to pray. May we not fail to pray, Lord. Lord, we pray that you will constantly, oh, help us, oh God, to watch, to pray, so that our life will not be in danger of an attack of the enemy.
And even the enemy, when the enemy comes, Bible says in seven ways they shall scatter. Oh, Father, help us always to pray. God, may you, oh God, release a burden of prayer in the life of your children. May you release the burden of prayer this morning, this day. Release the burden of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. As we watch, Lord, this day and beyond, may yokes of the enemy be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. As we watch and pray, Lord, may our enemy, O oh God, fall before us in the name of Jesus Christ. As we watch and pray. May sickness bow. May people, O oh God, receive healing, even in whoever that is sick, even as we watch and pray. May our family, our children be delivered from the attack of the enemy, from kidnapping, from all kinds of arrows that fly by day and terror of the night. Even as we pray, Lord, may you give us victory in our businesses. Even as we watch and pray, Father, may we, O oh God, be restored to that altar of prayer that we are known for. Even when we got born again, Lord, may our life be on fire again in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore the church to pray in life again. May the church, O oh God, begin to experience that that altar of prayer in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Have your way, Tana Rock of Ages. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Timber Lockwood Preservative surpasses all preventive measures designed to permanently prevent the damage and quality reduction of wood and wood-based materials by termites, fungi, bacteria, and other boring insects. Use Timberlock Premium Wood Preservative to prevent, correct, and defend wood and wood materials against deformities caused by termites and other insects in the later days. Timberlock is designed to solve wood preservation challenges with a standard you can trust. Timberlock Wood Preservative kills termites instantly. Timberlock Wood Preservative, the wood preservative brand leader in Africa. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. To alert the sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen.